no. No. Oh, oh, no, no. Okay, good, 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 good. I thought I screwed up, but I didn't. There we go. Just blop and blop. There we go. I'm good. Yeah. Blink. Wow, you solved it. And you did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next one then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> ah. All right. Hey, it didn't freeze this time. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Oh my god. Oh, what's this crap? Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys! Oh my god, really? That's a, that's a reference totally to Earthbound. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color! Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable! You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are the alarm tiles. If you step on, uh, on them, you'll have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through them if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Oh my god. Um... Great, then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Brain. Uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. I'll just walk right on across. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if you keep at it, next year he'll even make something edible. Oh my god. Oh, wait, wait. I... Oh. Hello. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Okay. Um, alright. I need determination. Rawr. Snow dog. It fills you with determination. Yay. What's this? Aware of dog. Please pet dog. On the floor inside is a box of pomeraisins. <laughs> and what are you? That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Ow. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. It's a snow papyrus. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um. Yeah. And then. Oh. Yeah. Okay, you're not far from your next checkpoint from what I'm hearing. Whee! Yeah. He's just going past one. Yep. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Boink. I'm talking about the major. Checkpoint. I'm going through a thicket of bamboo. Yay. Oh! And I had a random snow dog on my head. Okay. <laughs> okay. And what's over here? Uh, I don't want to go that way yet. What's down here? Sands. Okay, we'll go to the right. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. <laughs> eh? There's 30G inside this. What is this? Woof. What a tiny Wait, dog. Is that one with gold in it? 
Yeah, if you check them all, the uh, last one actually gives you 30 G. Oh, I didn't even do that. I missed out. <laughs> 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 I just kept rushing forward because I was recording at like 2 in the morning. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> well, at one point I even get to the point where I stop reading the text because I'm so tired, but whatever. Okay, so they did this part of the soundtrack with Mario Paint. <laughs> Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Oh, great. Whoa! Ah! No, you are not allowed to bark at me. You call the greater dog. It bounces towards you. Fleck, flecking slobber into your face. Ow. Greater dog is seeking affection. Pet. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh no. No. Okay. Greater dog is patting the ground with you with its front paws. Play. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. No, ow! Yay, I died. You cannot give up just yet. Walter, stay determined. Because you're not gaining, because if you're doing a pacifist run, you're not gaining any experience, you'll basically be at level one throughout the entire game, so you'll everything will hit like a truck. Well, I mean, this one is hitting it particularly hard. Yeah, it only, it only ramps up from here. Okay. Want some TLC? Oh wow, it actually did slow my movement. Pet capacity is 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Ah oh, crap, not this one. Now I understand how to dodge it. That's not so bad. It's contented. Alright. You won! Yay! <laughs> Okay, okay, just walk away with your butt in the air. That, 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 all right. Now I'm gonna go talk to Sans. Why not, right? Because I want to see what's down here. Oh, Sans went away somewhere. Okay. Maybe I should have went down here and talked to him first. Whoa, what the hell's up with the... What was with those eyes and the thingy? Oh my god, what are you... Gosh darn teenage googly eyes! What? Ow! Alright. Tumbles blindly. You can't improve on perfection. Ah, crap. Ow. <laughs> Ow. I don't want to die. <laughs> You 
got to keep on decorating. On decorating. Oh. Oh, I know what you're fighting. I didn't even see it. It's basically being picked on by by the locals. And they they keep decorating it. And it's annoyed. I gotta concentrate on dodging because I'm almost like freaking dead. You move the box of non-dog related raisins. No. Ow! Damn it. I got clipped at the end. Alright, now that we know how to deal with you, Mr. Gift Wrap. And I get hit anyway. But at least this time I was at full health, so it didn't matter. Yeah, a handy thing to do if you don't know how to attack an enemy, or rather you don't know how to spare an enemy, um, check it. The, the the description that it gives you will often give you a sort of hint. Yeah, I figured I figured as much. Yay! Now what in the world is over here? It's a door. Really? Okay. So I'm guessing this is something for later then. It's an Easter egg. An Easter egg? I couldn't figure out how to get into it. Okay. I'm gonna spoil it. It's not really a spoiler, to be honest. There's nothing special. Um, that unlocks when you complete the game uh, in tr via True Pacifist. And the credit roll is interactive. Um, oh. You have to dot. You, you can sort of dodge all the credits and they will fly at you. If you manage to dodge every single credit, um, and don't let even let you don't even let one hit you. That door will open. Oh! And behind there is an Easter egg. And it's let me guess, a literal Easter egg. No. Well, it's it's, it's an Easter egg, but it's not an actual physical Easter egg. Ah! Here we go with the throat destroyer. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. That is quite the gauntlet. When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because... I... Am... About... To do it! <laughs> I like the random dog over there. Well? What's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! Um... That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat with the human ear. Uh, defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes. Bye, doggy. <sighs> what are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should play Waterfalls. I just got it, Gajinre. I totally didn't notice that earlier. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. <laughs> um, blue attacks are where you stop, right? Oh, you have no idea. But that's part of it. Welcome to Snowden Town. Not <laughs> snowed in. I got gotcha. you. Ooh. <laughs> Fills you with determination. Yay. Use the box. Uh, yes. What about the snowman piece. What the hell's that for? Uh, I don't know, one. cause I accidentally ate mine. It does. It is basically a massive healing item. But if you don't use it and you keep it with you to the end of the game, it gives you a conversation piece. Oh, cool. You get, you get like a little bit of extra dialogue if you keep. It <laughs> Manly bandana. <laughs> it has abs on it. Um, what might help is if you do buy armor. That's what uh, I was thinking. Plus, but don't buy weapons. Bicycle disaster, exactly, brain. So that's where Locke's bandana ended up. <laughs> don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. <laughs> okay. 
My little cinnamon just the cutest. Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Alright. Awful teens tormented the local monster to bite. Oh, well, okay. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Wait. I think... This, this... Oh, never mind. We're in a striped shirt. Okay. Grillbees. <laughs> But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> oh, hi. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Yeah, I figured that out already. Thank you. <laughs> For some girls today, someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, so it's something you missed in the beginning. There is that if you had went north instead of going um, right, you would have found the fishing pole with the phone number. With the phone number? Yeah, literally a fishing pole with the phone number and a picture of the monster saying, Call me sometime. Wow. <laughs> I don't know where I missed that at, though. Um, basically, after you see Sans and Papyrus the first time, once you get to that first save point there, you go north instead of going right. It is I, right up in a little nook there. I thought I went state. north. Oh, well. Nope. So I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. Fish need love, too. Exactly. Oh, my God. The jukebox is broken. It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys! Oh my god. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Oh my god. You have no idea. <laughs> At least it wasn't a strip solitaire. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Oh. Library. Wait, no. Li li what? Library. They misspelled it. Library. They misspelled it. <laughs> There's so yeah, little to report it. that we just fill it with comics and games. The school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as hell. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it into that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are made mostly of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. <laughs> because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken, and the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Good to know. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of the, our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swamp land, and searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made out of, but the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oops. I didn't mean to talk to it again. Shut up! Shut up! There we go. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. <laughs> that look in your eyes. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Oh, thanks! <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. 
But look at me now. I'm trying the number one word search creator in the- or I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. <laughs> souls! I need more souls! <laughs> Unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside? Yeah, let's do it. It's empty. Of course. <laughs> It's locked. No. <laughs> it's locked from the inside, apparently. What's so funny, Kaylin? Oh, just this old Impractical Jokers video where oh. one of the guys was in White Castle and he had to speak Old English. It was just hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Have you not seen it? Not yet. It's an uh. old one. I'll, 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 link, I'll link it to you in Discord and you can watch it afterward. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. I knew I would get tongue-tied one or sooner or later. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh my god. Yay. <laughs> Alright. Boss Let's... fight. <coughs> yeah, let's check. Papyrus. He likes to say nyeh No doubt. nyeh Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, the main thing with him, flirt and then just dodge. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero... <laughs> I can make spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Let's say later after I capture you. Okay. <laughs> Raz is thinking about oh, what to wait for his, today. His dodging gets worse. I figured. Dodging, his attacks get worse. Oh no! Let's date later. I'll just stay high. <laughs> Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Okay. I guess I gotta. Dude, I don't know. Just check. After, after I well, after that he's he's not gonna really respond. You just gotta get through the dialogue, pretty much. Mhm. Mm get through the dialogue, get through the fight, and that's it. Dad, marinara sauce behind his ear. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Oh god. Okay. I just don't move. Whoop whoop whippy whiffy whiffy. Just wait. Uh oh. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> oh, now the fight just got hard. Oh I bet. You know too busy fighting to flirt games. back. You know all those little games where you have to kind of jump over things? Yeah, yeah I, that's what it's turned it into. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> that MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Oh. Oh. Oi. Just so you know, this Woo. fight is the one Woo. I died on most because Woo. I couldn't figure out and I'm bad at dodging bullet hells. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh. Oh, God. Huh. Oh, no, you don't. Nope. No, you don't. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> MTT slime behind his ear. Alright, he likes to say, yeah, we got it. I can almost taste my future popularity. Whip, whip. Whee! Ow. Oh, no. I got clip. Whoop. That one tried to sneak out of there. <laughs> Head of the Royal Guard! Oh, whoop! 
Whoa, okay. Read this, have ears. Yeah. Unparalleled spaghetti store. Ow. Oop. Yeah. Oh, don't move. Oh, yeah. Oh, got it. It's preparing a bone attack. Yeah. 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 Oh, you. Oh, you. Ow. I got clipped. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Trying hard to play it cool. Too busy fighting. <laughs> I will flip. Oh, 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 God. Ow. <laughs> Alright. Preparing a bone attack. <laughs> I might want to heal. Um. Yeah, let's use one of my bicycles. Yeah. My brother will be well. He won't change very much. Oh. Oh. Haha. Whoop. Easy. <laughs> I'll have lots of admirers, but. Oh, shit. Got it. Considering his options. Oh, my God. And yep. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, no fair moving. Ha. <laughs> okay. Remember the bad jokes. Sam told him is frowning. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh. Whoop. Ow. Okay. Damn it, I got clipped again. I'm gonna use a unicycle. After you're captured and sent away. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Ah! Ow. I got clipped. Ah, who cares? Give up! Ow! That was not nice. Okay. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Give up or face my special attack. Okay. Ah! Tried to sneak that one past me, did you? <laughs> yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack. Not too long and I'll use that special attack. Ow. <laughs> oh, please do. It's rattling his bones. This is your last chance. Huh? <sighs> oh, yeah. Nope. You're not gonna hit me with that anymore. Behold, my special attack! Oh god. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! <laughs> okay. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Uh, here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh crap. Oh! Ow. No, no. Oh my god, no. Ow. Don't get clipped again. No. Huh? Gotta get over that. Up and over. Up and over. Up and over? Cool, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> okay. That was... Uh, uh, oh, no. Oh, I can go over that. There. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. No more? Please, no more? Uh, you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, 
Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. <laughs> can I, like, um... You can okay, out. good, thank God. This <laughs> is Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, I got clipped a couple times when I shouldn't have. That was... I got it, though. I knew you'd react to the cool dude, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was a little nervous when you just see this fucking wall of bones. I'm like, oh shit, but super jump, apparently. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undine's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and... My friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? <laughs> Let's be friends, of course. Really? You, you want to be my friend? Remember me? What? Can you get that with this bit? Go back and talk to him. Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew all I needed was to make pals, was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, oh, uh, excuse me, when you reach the capital, <laughs> cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul, like you. And that's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is Godzilla. Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Uh, Dream Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you to the right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being co a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>